Good morning guys, it's Antoine from Foiling Magazine. Um, I'm here today to talk to you a bit about foil maintenance. Um, I know it happened to a few of you already guys, so this is my going for it. Um, that screw here got stuck and those two screws got stuck too. Even with using dev gel and everything, I didn't rinse the foil the last time I used it and it's been three weeks now. So here we are, managed to get rid of those two screws before. Um, that one is stuck. And as you can see, the hexagonal uh, head is not hexagonal anymore, so there's no way I can get rid of that screw without um, drilling through it. And same here, um, those two ones are stuck. That one popped out when I, when it, I tried to get the screw off, so the head broke, basically. So I'm going to use the driller here and basically drill through those two uh, heads and the one at the under it, on the fuselage which is going to allow me to separate my top plate from my mast and my fuselage from my mast and then use that new mast um, to be able to go in the water again, alright? Through inox you need a um, metal uh, drill bit of um, this one is 8.5 millimeters but you can use uh, 8 millimeters what happens is if you use a six millimeters like the diameter of the screw uh, well there is a big chance you end up going drilling through the screw which is not what you want you want to just get rid of the head as you can uh, separate the pieces again so use a larger diameter is is better as that you can come sooner uh, to the end of that code here which is going to be able to make you able to release uh, the parts quicker so here we go So here we are. As you can see, I managed to get the head off. So now I need to do exactly the same thing with that screw again. So you want to make sure um, the top of the drill bit comes straight inside the hexagonal print so as it's centered. All right. That was quick. Now, um, might be able, yeah, here we go. So, my top plate is free. To take my top plate out, and those screws are staying in the mast, so I'm not gonna be able to use that mast anymore. But as I have a new one, I'm gonna be able to foil again, which is what I want. So, now I need to get rid of that one too and drill through it. and here we are. Here we go. I want to avoid what I just did. Um, as soon as your screw starts to look like this, uh, you want to make sure you get rid of them. As soon as the head is a little bit um, Tangled, you need to get rid of those screws so and you're not going to be able to dismount your mast anymore. Um, so that's why I'm using those Torx screws. You can order them easy on the internet. So those ones you can apply way more torque on it and it's going to be able to uh, mount and dismount your foil easier. Um, Alright, make sure you apply some tef gel on it before you. Remount you foil again. Alright guys, so if you want to avoid um, losing a mast uh, somehow, like I just did with that one, I cannot use it anymore because of the screws tangled in it. Make sure of two things. First, make sure you rinse your hydrofoil every time you go in the water to avoid corrosion. Okay, and the second thing, make sure you dismount it, all of it, every time you go in. 
every time you get out of the water. Dismount it and rinse it and dry it up before you put it back in your garage. Not like I just did, okay? So guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you soon on the water. Ciao.